Welcome to the demonstration on VLAN routing with virtual router interfaces on Ruckus ICX switches. So with the Layer 3 or router code running on a Ruckus ICX switch, um, we can configure interfaces with IP addresses and have them route between interfaces. But it's also a switch and has the ability to configure VLANs. And we need a way to route between VLANs without actually having to physically connect uh, a port in a VLAN to a port in another VLAN externally on the box. So we use virtual interfaces to do that. Uh, virtual interfaces are really just uh, interfaces within a VLAN that are not physically attached to anything, uh, but through the backplane can route to each other and route between each other in the switch. So let's go ahead and start uh, looking at that configuration. So we can configure a VLAN. Uh, we'll just do VLAN 10. And within a VLAN, uh, once we create a VLAN, we need to put ports in it first. So we'll go ahead and put uh, we'll put a port in here. And we'll just tag port 111 in VLAN 10. And now we have a port in the VLAN. Now we need to create this virtual interface. And that's done uh, with the router-interface command. And I'm going to call it VE10. You don't have to uh, give the VE the same number as the VLAN, although it is really helpful to do that because when you look at these VEs later, uh, you, if you use it the same uh, VE number as the VLAN it's associated with, you'll have that correlation. You'll be able to immediately identify that VE10 is part of VLAN10. Uh, if you do something different, you'll never really be able to keep track of which VEs are part of which VLAN. So we create uh, interface VE10. So we have a VLAN. Let's take a look at our running config. And in here we've got VLAN 10. Uh, we've tagged our port and we've got a router interface VE10. So to configure that interface though, we have to change configuration context again, just like we would if we were configuring an IP address on a real physical interface. So we're going to use the interface command, and it's interface VE10. So now our context changes on our, on our prompt. We've got VIF10, so virtual interface 10, and here we can configure an IP address. So we'll do 10.0.0.1 slash 24, and we have an IP. Um, now, you know, what good is it to have just an IP address on one VLAN? Well, not much. So let's go ahead and create another VLAN. So we'll create a router interface VE20 in VLAN 20 that has one port member in it. And we're good there. We'll jump into that interface and give it an IP. And again, we're in the virtual interface context, and we'll go with uh, so 20.0.0.1 slash 24, just to make it visibly easy for us to look at this. So we've done this. Um, let's take a look at some outputs that show us our VEs and, uh, and how they are very much like other interfaces on the switch. So we're on the show interface brief command. Uh, we see all of our ports and their statuses. And when we get to the bottom here, we have our VEs, VE10 and VE20. So both of these VEs are enabled, but only one of them's up. So VE10 is up. Uh, VE20 is down right now. Now that's because in VE20, I assigned port 2, and in port 2 is disabled right now. So one of the rules for a VE to become active is that it has to have a port that's, in, that's up in that VLAN for the interface to become active because why have a route to something that has no physical connections outside anyway? So that's the logic behind that. So let's take a look at the route table. So if you look at our route table, we have one route in here. This is the 10.0.0.0/24 network. Um, that's the VE10 network. Again, the VE20, the virtual interface is down. So we don't have a route for that network yet. And we'll run the show IP route command after enabling that port. 
and now we see the two routes in the routing table. So just bringing up that interface allowed this route to uh, pop up in our routing table and now allows us to route between VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So that's how we configure virtual interfaces and allow VLAN routing on a Ruckus ICX switch. Thank you for viewing this demonstration, and I hope you come back to view more demonstrations in the future. Thank you.